Weikra, Leviticus chapter 1. And Yahweh called to Moshe and spoke to him from the tent of appointment, saying, Speak to the children of Yisrael, and say to them, When any one of you brings an offering to Yahweh, you bring your offering of the livestock, of the herd, or of the flock. If his offering is a burnt offering of the herd, let him bring a male, a perfect one. Let him bring it at the door of the tent of appointment for his acceptance before Yahweh. And he shall lay his hand on the head of the burnt offering, and it shall be accepted on his behalf to make atonement for him. And he shall slaughter the bull before Yahweh. And the sons of Eheran, the Kohinim, shall bring the blood and sprinkle the blood all around on the altar, which is at the door of the tent of appointment. And he shall skin the burnt offering and cut it into pieces. And the sons of Eheran, the Kohin, shall put fire on the altar and lay the wood in order on the fire. And the sons of Eheran, the Kohinim, shall arrange the pieces with the head and the fat on the wood, which is on the fire, on the altar. But its entrails and its legs he washes with water. And the Kohin shall burn all of it on the altar as a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, a sweet fragrance to Yahweh. And if his offering is from the flock, from the sheep, or from the goats, as a burnt offering, let him bring a male, a perfect one, and he shall slaughter it on the north side of the altar before Yahweh. And the sons of Eheran, the Kohinim, shall sprinkle its blood on the altar all around. And he shall cut it into pieces with its head and its fat, and the Kohin shall arrange them on the wood which is on the fire on the altar. But the entrails and the legs he washes with water. And the Kohin shall bring it all and burn it on the altar. It is a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, a sweet fragrance to Yahweh. And if the burnt offering of his offering to Yahweh is of birds, then he shall bring his offering of turtle doves or young pigeons. And the Kohin shall bring it to the altar and shall wring off its head and burn it on the altar. And its blood shall be drained out at the side of the altar. And he shall remove its crop with its feathers and throw it beside the altar on the east side into the place for ashes. And he shall split it at its wings, but never sever it. And the Kohen shall burn it on the altar, on the wood that is on the fire. It is a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, a sweet fragrance to Yahweh. Waikra, Leviticus chapter 2. And when anyone brings a grain offering to Yahweh, his offering is to be a fine flour, and he shall pour oil on it and put frankincense on it, and he shall bring it to the sons of Eheran the Kohinim, and he shall take from it his hand filled with fine flour and oil with all the frankincense. And the Kohen shall burn it as a remembrance portion on the altar, an offering made by fire, a sweet fragrance to Yahweh. And the rest of the grain offering is for Eheran and his sons, most Kodesh of the offerings to Yahweh by fire. And so you bring as an offering a grain offering baked in the oven, unleavened cakes of fine flour mixed with oil, or unleavened thin cakes anointed with oil. But if your offering is a grain offering on the griddle, it is of fine flour unleavened mixed with oil. Divide it into bits and pour oil on it. It is a grain offering. And if your offering is a grain offering in a stewing pot, it is made of fine flour with oil. And you shall bring to Yahweh the grain offering that is made of these, and shall present it to the Kohen, and he shall bring it to the altar. And the Kohen shall take from the grain offering a remembrance portion and burn it on the altar, an offering made by fire, a sweet fragrance to Yahweh. And the rest of the grain offering is for Eheran and his sons, most Kodesh of the offerings to Yahweh made by fire. No grain offering which you bring to Yahweh is made with leaven, for you do not burn any leaven or any honey in an offering to Yahweh made by fire. Bring them to Yahweh as an offering of the first fruits, but they are not burned on the altar for a sweet fragrance. And season with salt every offering of your grain offering, and do not allow the salt of the covenant of your Elohim to be lacking from your grain offering. With all your offerings you bring salt. 
And if you bring a grain offering of your first fruits to Yahweh, bring for the grain offering of your first fruits green heads of grain roasted on the fire, crushed heads of new grain. And you shall put oil on it and lay frankincense on it. It is a grain offering. And the Kohen shall burn the remembrance portion from its crushed grain and from its oil with all the frankincense, an offering made by fire to Yahweh. Weikra, Leviticus chapter 3. And if that which he presents is a peace offering, if he is bringing it of the herd, whether male or female, he brings a perfect one before Yahweh. And he shall lay his hand on the head of his offering and slaughter it at the door of the tent of appointment. And the sons of Eheran the Kohinim shall sprinkle the blood on the altar all around. And from the peace offering he shall bring an offering made by fire to Yahweh, the fat that covers the entrails, and all the fat that is on the entrails, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them by the loins, and the appendage on the liver which he removes with the kidneys. And the sons of Eheran shall burn it on the altar upon the burnt offering, which is on the wood, which is on the fire, as an offering made by fire, a sweet fragrance to Yahweh. And if that which he presents is from the flock for a peace offering to Yahweh, male or female, he brings a perfect one. If he is bringing a lamb as his offering, then he shall bring it before Yahweh and shall lay his hand on the head of his offering and slaughter it in front of the tent of appointment. And the sons of Eheran shall sprinkle its blood on the altar round about. And from the peace offering he shall bring near, as an offering made by fire to Yahweh, its fat, all the fat tail which he removes close to the backbone, and the fat that covers the entrails, and all the fat that is on the entrails, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them by the loins, and the appendage on the liver which he removes with the kidneys. And the Kohen shall burn them on the altar as food, an offering made by fire to Yahweh. And if his offering is a goat, then he shall bring it before Yahweh, and shall lay his hand on its head and slaughter it before the tent of appointment. And the sons of Eheran shall sprinkle its blood on the altar all around. And from it he shall bring its offering, an offering made by fire to Yahweh, the fat that covers the entrails, and all the fat that is on the entrails, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them by the loins, and the appendage on the liver which he removes with the kidneys. And the Kohen shall burn them on the altar as food, an offering made by fire for a sweet fragrance. All the fat belongs to Yahweh, an everlasting law throughout your generations in all your dwellings. You do not eat any fat or any blood. Waikra, Leviticus chapter 4. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Yisrael, saying, When a being sins by mistake against any of the commands of Yahweh, which are not to be done, and shall do any of them, if the anointed Kohen sins, bringing guilt on the people, then he shall bring to Yahweh for his sin, which he has sinned, a young bull, a perfect one, as a sin offering, and he shall bring the bull to the door of the tent of appointment before Yahweh and shall lay his hand on the bull's head, and slaughter the bull before Yahweh. And the anointed Kohen shall take some of the bull's blood, and bring it to the tent of appointment. And the Kohen shall dip his finger in the blood, and sprinkle some of the blood seven times before Yahweh, in front of the veil of the Kodesh place. And the Kohen shall put some of the blood on the horns of the altar of sweet incense before Yahweh, which is in the tent of appointment, and pour all the blood of the bull at the base of the altar of the burnt offering, which is at the door of the tent of appointment. Then he takes all the fat of the bull as the sin offering, the fat that covers the entrails, and all the fat which is on the entrails, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them by the loins, and the appendage on the liver, which he removes with the kidneys. And it was taken from the bull of the peace offering, and the Kohen shall burn them on the altar of the burnt offering. But the skin of the bull, and all its flesh, with its head and legs, its entrails and dung, all of the bull, he shall bring outside the camp to a clean place, where the ashes are poured out, 
and burn it on wood with fire. Where the ashes are poured out, it is burned. And if the entire congregation of Israel strays by mistake, and the matter has been hidden from the eyes of the assembly, and they have done any of the commands of Yahweh which are not to be done, and shall be guilty, when the sin which they have sinned becomes known, then the assembly shall bring a young bull for the sin, and bring it before the tent of appointment. And the leaders of the congregation shall lay their hands on the head of the bull before Yahweh, and the bull shall be slaughtered before Yahweh. And the anointed Kohen shall bring some of the bull's blood to the tent of appointment, and the Kohen shall dip his finger in the blood and sprinkle it seven times before Yahweh in front of the veil, and put some of the blood on the horns of the altar which is before Yahweh, which is in the tent of appointment, and pour all the blood at the base of the altar of burnt offering which is at the door of the tent of appointment. Then he takes all the fat from it and shall burn it on the altar. And he shall do with the bull as he did with the bull as a sin offering, so shall he do it. And the Kohen shall make atonement for them, and it shall be forgiven them. And he shall bring the bull outside the camp, and burn it as he burned the first bull. It is a sin offering for the assembly. When a ruler sins, and by mistake has done any of the commands of Yahweh his Elohim, which are not to be done, and shall be guilty, or if his sin which he has sinned is made known to him, then he shall bring as his offering a buck of the goats, a male, a perfect one. And he shall lay his hand on the head of the goat and slaughter it at the place where they slaughter the burnt offering before Yahweh. It is a sin offering. And the Kohen shall take some of the blood of the sin offering with his finger and shall put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offering and pour its blood at the base of the altar of burnt offering, and burn all its fat on the altar, like the fat of the slaughtering of the peace offering. And the Kohen shall make atonement for him for his sin, and it shall be forgiven him. And if any being of the people of the land sins by mistake by doing any of the commands of Yahweh which are not to be done, and shall be guilty, or if his sin which he has sinned shall be made known to him, then he shall bring as his offering a female goat, a perfect one for his sin which he has sinned. And he shall lay his hand on the head of the sin offering and slaughter the sin offering at the place of the burnt offering. And the Kohen shall take some of its blood with his finger and shall put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offering and pour all the blood at the base of the altar. Then remove all its fat as fat is removed from the slaughtering of the peace offering. And the Kohen shall burn it on the altar for a sweet fragrance to Yahweh. And the Kohen shall make atonement for him, and it shall be forgiven him. And if he brings a lamb as his sin offering, he brings a female, a perfect one. And he shall lay his hand on the head of the sin offering and slaughter it as a sin offering at the place where they slaughter the burnt offering. And the Kohen shall take some of the blood of the sin offering with his finger and shall put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offering, and pour all the blood at the base of the altar. Then he removes all its fat, as the fat of the lamb, which is removed from the slaughtering of the peace offering. And the Kohen shall burn it on the altar, according to the offerings made by fire to Yahweh. So the Kohen shall make atonement for his sin, that he has sinned, and it shall be forgiven him. Weikra, Leviticus chapter 5. And when a being sins, and that he has heard the voice of swearing, and is a witness, or has seen, or has known, but does not reveal it, he shall bear his wickedness. Or when a being touches any unclean matter, or the carcass of an unclean beast, or the carcass of unclean livestock, or the carcass of unclean creeping creatures, and it has been hidden from him, he is unclean and guilty. And when he touches uncleanness of man, any of his uncleanness by which he is unclean, and it has been hidden from him, when he shall know it, then he shall be guilty. Or when a being swears, speaking rashly with his lips to do evil or to do good, whatever it is that a man swears rashly with an oath, and it has been hidden from him, when he shall know it, then he shall be guilty of one of these. And it shall be, when he is guilty of one of these, that he shall confess that in which he has sinned. 
and shall bring his guilt offering to Yahweh for his sin, which he has sinned, a female from the flock, a lamb or a female goat as a sin offering. And the Kohen shall make atonement for him for his sin. And if he is unable to bring a lamb, then he shall bring to Yahweh, he who has sinned, two turtle doves or two young pigeons, one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. And he shall bring them to the Kohen, who shall bring near that which is for the sin offering first, and wring off its head from its neck, but not sever it. And he shall sprinkle some of the blood of the sin offering on the side of the altar, and the rest of the blood shall be drained out at the base of the altar. It is a sin offering. And he shall prepare the second as a burnt offering according to the right ruling. And the Kohen shall make atonement for him, for his sin which he has sinned, and it shall be forgiven him. But if he is unable to bring two turtle doves or two young pigeons, then he who sinned shall bring for his offering one-tenth of an ephah of fine flour as a sin offering. He puts no oil on it, nor does he put any frankincense on it, for it is a sin offering. And he shall bring it to the Kohen, and the Kohen shall take his hand filled with it as a remembrance portion, and burn it on the altar according to the offerings made by fire to Yahweh. It is a sin offering. And the Kohen shall make atonement for him for his sin that he has sinned in any of these, and it shall be forgiven him, and it shall be the Kohen's like a grain offering. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, when a being commits a trespass and has sinned by mistake against the Kodesh matters of Yahweh, then he shall bring to Yahweh as his guilt offering a ram, a perfect one from the flock, with your valuation in shekels of silver according to the shekel of the Kodesh place as a guilt offering. And he shall make good for the sin that he has done against that which is Kodesh, and shall add one-fifth to it and give it to the Kohen. And the Kohen shall make atonement for him with the ram of the guilt offering, and it shall be forgiven him. And when any being sins and has done what is not to be done, any of the commands of Yahweh, though he knew it not, yet he shall be guilty and shall bear his wickedness. Then he shall bring to the Kohen a ram, a perfect one from the flock, with your valuation as a guilt offering. The Kohen shall make atonement for his mistake he committed unintentionally, though he did not know it, and it shall be forgiven him. It is a guilt offering. He was truly guilty before Yahweh. Weikra, Leviticus chapter 6 And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, when any being sins and committed a trespass against Yahweh and has lied to his neighbor about a deposit or about a pledge or about a robbery or shall extort from his neighbor or has found what was lost and has lied concerning it or sworn falsely so that he sins in regard to any one of all these that a man does, then it shall be when he sins and shall be guilty that he shall return what he took by robbery or what he has extorted, or the deposit which was deposited with him, or the lost item which he found, or all that about which he swore falsely. He shall repay its total value, add one-fifth more to it, and give it to whom it belongs, on the day of his guilt offering. Then he brings his guilt offering to Yahweh, a ram, a perfect one from the flock, with your valuation as a guilt offering to the Kohen. And the Kohen shall make atonement for him before Yahweh, and he shall be forgiven for whatever he did that made him guilty. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Command Eheran and his sons, saying, This is the Torah of the burnt offering. This is the burnt offering, because it is burned on the altar all night until morning, and the fire of the altar is kept burning on it. And the Kohen shall put on his linen garment, and put his linen trousers on his body, and take up the ashes of the burnt offering, which the fire has consumed on the altar, and shall put them beside the altar. And he shall take off his garments, and put on other garments, and shall bring the ashes outside the camp to a clean place. And the fire on the altar is kept burning on it, it is not put out. And the Kohen 
She'll burn wood on it every morning and arrange the burnt offering on it, and she'll burn on it the fat of the peace offerings. Fire is continually kept burning on the altar. It is not put out. And this is the Torah of the grain offering. The sons of Eheran shall bring it near before Yahweh in front of the altar, and shall take from it with his hand from the fine flour of the grain offering and from its oil and all the frankincense which is on the grain offering, and shall burn it on the altar for a sweet fragrance as its remembrance portion to Yahweh. Then Eheran and his sons eat the rest of it. It is eaten with unleavened bread in the Kodesh place. They eat it in the courtyard of the tent of appointment. It is not baked with leaven. I have given it to them as their portion of my offerings made by fire. It is most Kodesh, like the sin offering and the guilt offering. All the males among the children of Eheran eat it, a law forever in your generations concerning the offerings made by fire to Yahweh. All that touches them is to be Kodesh. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, This is the offering of Eheran and his sons, which they bring near to Yahweh, beginning on the day when he is anointed. One-tenth of an ephah of fine flour as a daily grain offering, half of it in the morning and half of it at night. It is made on a griddle with oil. Bring it in mixed. Bring the baked portions of the grain offering near a sweet fragrance to Yahweh. And the anointed Kohen from among his sons, who is in his place, prepares it, a law forever to Yahweh. All of it has to be burned, and every grain offering for the Kohen is completely burned. It is not eaten. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to Eheran and to his sons, saying, This is the Torah of the sin offering. In the place where the burnt offering is slaughtered, the sin offering is slaughtered before Yahweh. It is most Kodesh. The Kohen who is making atonement eats it in the Kodesh place. It is eaten in the courtyard of the tent of appointment. All that touches its flesh is to be Kodesh. And when its blood is sprinkled on any garment, you wash that on which it was sprinkled in a Kodesh place. But the earthen vessel in which it is cooked is to be broken. And if it is cooked in a bronze pot, then it is scored and rinsed in water. Every male among the Kohenim eats it, it is most Kodesh. And no sin offering from which any of the blood is brought into the tent of appointment to make atonement in the Kodesh place is eaten. It is burned with fire. Weikra, Leviticus chapter 7. And this is the Torah of the guilt offering. It is most Kodesh. The guilt offering is slaughtered in the place where they slaughter the burnt offering, and its blood is sprinkled on the altar all around. Then he brings from it all its fat, the fat tail, and the fat that covers the entrails, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them by the loins, and the appendage on the liver, which he removes with the kidneys. And the Kohen shall burn them on the altar as an offering made by fire to Yahweh. It is a guilt offering. Every male among the Kohenim eats it. It is eaten in the Kodesh place. It is most Kodesh. The guilt offering is like the sin offering. There is one Torah for them both. The Kohen who makes atonement with it, it is his. And the Kohen who brings anyone's burnt offering, the skin of the burnt offering which he has brought is the Kohen's, it is his. And every grain offering that is baked in the oven and all that is prepared in the stewing pot or on the griddle, it is the Kohen's who brings it, it is his. And every grain offering mixed with oil or dry is for all the sons of Eheran, for all alike. And this is the Torah of the slaughtering of peace offerings, which is brought to Yahweh. If he brings it for a thanksgiving, then he shall bring with the slaughtering of thanksgiving unleavened cakes mixed with oil, or unleavened thin cakes anointed with oil, or cakes of finely blended flour mixed with oil. Besides the cakes, he brings as his offering leavened bread together with the slaughtering of thanksgiving of his peace offering. And from it he shall bring one cake from each offering as a contribution to Yahweh, to the Kohen who sprinkles the blood of the peace offering, it is his. As for the flesh of the slaughtering of the 
peace offering for thanksgiving, it is eaten the same day it is offered. He does not leave any of it until morning. And if the offering he brings is a vow or a voluntary offering, it is eaten the same day that he brings his slaughtering, and what is left of it is eaten the next day, but whatever is left of the flesh of the slaughtering on the third day is burned with fire. However, if any of the flesh of his peace offering is eaten at all on the third day, it is not accepted. It is not reckoned to him who brings it, it is unclean to him, and the being who eats of it bears his wickedness. And the flesh that touches that which is unclean is not eaten, it is burned with fire. And as for the clean flesh, all who are clean eat of it. But the being who eats the flesh of the peace offering that belongs to Yahweh while he is unclean, that being shall be cut off from his people. And when a being who touches that which is unclean, of the uncleanness of man, or of the uncleanness of beast, or of any unclean swarming creature, and shall eat the flesh of the peace offering that belongs to Yahweh, that being shall be cut off from his people. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, Do not eat any fat of bull, or sheep, or goat. And the fat of a dead body, and the fat of what is torn, is used for any purpose, but you do not eat it at all. For whoever eats the fat of the beast of which men bring as an offering made by fire to Yahweh, even the bean who eats it shall be cut off from his people. And do not eat any blood in any of your dwellings, of bird or of beast. Any bean who eats any blood, even that bean shall be cut off from his people. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Yisrael, saying, He who brings his peace offering to Yahweh brings his offering to Yahweh from the slaughtering of his peace offering. With his own hands he brings the offerings made by fire to Yahweh. He brings the fat with the breast to be waved as a wave offering before Yahweh. And the Kohen shall burn the fat on the altar, but the breast shall be Eheron's and his son's. And the right thigh you give to the Kohen as a contribution from your peace offerings. He among the sons of Eheran who brings the blood of the peace offering and the fat, the right thigh is his for a portion. For the breast of the wave offering and the thigh of the contribution I have taken from the children of Yisrael from their peace offerings, and I give them to Eheran the Kohen and to his sons as a law forever from the children of Yisrael. This is the anointed portion for Eheran and the anointed portion for his sons from the offerings made by fire to Yahweh on the day when Moshe presented them to serve as Kohinim to Yahweh, which Yahweh commanded to be given to them by the children of Yisrael on the day that he anointed them, a law forever throughout their generations. This is the Torah of the burnt offering, of the grain offering, and of the sin offering, and of the guilt offering, and of the ordinations, and of the peace offering, which Yahweh commanded Moshe on Mount Sinai on the day when he commanded the children of Yisrael to bring their offerings to Yahweh in the wilderness of Sinai.